and I'm still working on editing the video that is going to go up today. So you guys will have seen it yesterday by the time you see this video. I had a busy morning, I got a workout done. I interviewed my friend Nick for the Bold Body Podcast. I have a podcast, go subscribe. We're gonna be doing some rebranding coming soon, so pretty excited for that, stay tuned. But I interviewed Nick, we talked all about like his incredible freaking spiritual awakening and that story was wild. I can't wait for you guys to hear it. And we talked about like different spiritual practices that he does throughout his day and it was really, really good. Um, we'll update you on Instagram when that drops. I did have a new episode come out today, but either way, there's like 61 episodes now, so go subscribe, check it out. After that, what have I been doing since? Just editing, sitting around in these clothes, thinking about how I need to clean today. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna finish editing this video, get like semi more presentable, go get a bottle of wine, and we're gonna do like a giant cleaning spree. Maybe I'll build my shelf, see that box back there? That's it, so that hopefully I can like decorate it tomorrow. So anyway, that's where we're at. I just wanted to come check in because it's like way later in the day than I usually get started with a vlog, but we've been doing shit and you would have been bored watching me all day. So let's edit. <laughs> But first, question for you. I just asked this in my Instagram stories and right now it's leaning a little bit more towards one side than the other. And my opinion, like mm, the thing that I wanna do is kind of like the side that's not winning the vote. <laughs> but I wanna ask you, what do you think? So since I changed my Instagram handle yesterday, it is no longer at Lily Nicole Coaching. It is now at lilynicole.co. My TikTok handle is at self love with Lily. I never wanted that one to be Lily Nicole Coaching because I wanted that to kind of be separate from my coaching business. Now I'm wondering, should I change my TikTok handle to match my Instagram one so that there's some flow? I feel like as an influencer, that's a lot easier to just have things the same across the board. Or should I keep my TikTok handle at self love with Lily? Um, just because I know that on TikTok, especially when you're like a newer account, I've got like 70,000 followers, which I know doesn't seem that new, but um, it's also like for TikTok, it's not that big at this point. I know the importance of having like a niche and being really clear about that so that people who come to your page like know what they're gonna get. So tell me, what do you think I should do? Let me know in the comments at lilynicole.co to match my Instagram or at self love with Lily to stay niche down. <laughs> these are I'm pretty sure I ordered two things for my sister like from Etsy on Black Friday and I was I like could not find the confirmation email anywhere there was no like orders placed in my like account I was like did I freaking dream that I ordered it and I'm pretty sure this is what I ordered now and I just bought her something else yesterday so either she's getting a lot of gifts or I have some decisions to make This is it. Well, that's awesome because it is a really good gift. Where the hell did I order it from though? It's so confusing. Um, well, that's exciting. Let's see what, I think I know what this is actually. One moment, please. Yeah, that's definitely what I think it is. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you guys to see this. 
so my little cousin is an artist and she has such beautiful work. I will put her Instagram handle right here when I'm editing this. Let me open this for you guys. So I bought a print of hers that she did because I was like, this would just be so freaking perfect in my apartment. It goes with the whole vibe, the color scheme, all the things, it's gorgeous. I love it so much. You guys, how freaking good is that? Like the color, not your baby. Oh my God, I cannot wait to hang this up. <gasps> It looks even better in person. Like, look at that. You guys should definitely go check out her Instagram, all her work, order from her, all the things. I am now going to <laughs> CVS to get the bottle of wine. I have not finished editing yet, but I'm like almost done. And I told myself I would continue editing to a certain point and then I would go get the wine as like a little treat. And then I think I might just actually start cleaning when I get back and then we will like dive back into the editing a little later tonight. <laughs> So it is bad in here. I feel like I just have come to accept that this is who I am now. I am willing to believe that I have the potential to change when I want to badly enough because I used to be just like straight up mess, like always messy, just shit everywhere. Um, but since I, I feel like since I've moved into this apartment, um, which I like it a lot more than, you know, my previous apartment. I've become a little bit, you know, a lot cleaner, I would say. However, I do go through phases where when I'm really busy, I just like let everything really build up and I tell myself, okay, I'm gonna go on a cleaning spree later. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it for now. And then I end up with like disaster zone things everywhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not going to even like think about the laundry or the bedroom today. I'm just gonna get to the kitchen, the living room and all of those spaces. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna vlog it for some accountability and maybe for some motivation for you to like go get shit done that you've been putting off. Um, okay, ready, set, go. First things first though, I am going to wash pour some wine. I'm still crouching. I need to get a fucking tripod. Um, anyway, I have decided if you guys watch my Instagram stories, you might've seen this the other day. I am totally not a red wine person. I am like all about the Sauvignon Blanc and Rosé. I could like friggin' down that shit. Like there have been times where I could drink two bottles to myself and like that's problematic. And I don't do that while I'm like home alone. You know what I mean? Like usually I'll, but I will drink more than I need to while home alone. Um, like I could easily like finish off a bottle. So we're trying something new and I'm trying to be, see if I can be like a red wine person. I've never liked red wine. Let me take these off. I've never liked red wine really, but that made me think, okay, well, if I try drinking it, maybe I'll drink less of it. And I bought a bottle the other night. I left it at Curtis's house, only drank one glass, which was a success. Like, is this broken? What's happening here? I'm having flashbacks to like, I think it was my first ever vlog when I struggled so hardcore to open the champagne. <laughs> freaking bottle of wine. What's happening? Ah, oh, it's so embarrassing. Like, I swear, I think something's wrong with the bottle because this makes no sense. What the fuck? 
shears. We're gonna go clean this rack. <laughs> cauliflower I feel like they might have given me regular pasta you can't tell it's like chewy but it's really good it tastes really regular mm -hmm. 